What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? In today's episode of the Simulator series, we're going to be scripting the pet stats. So whenever a player equips a brand new pet, they have increased stats. As always, if you guys do enjoy the video or it does help you out, make sure you smash the like button, also the subscribe button, and turn this post notifications on if you want to get notified when I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I have a Patreon. If you guys like this for me and gain access to all the scripts and the game file that I make during this video, there's a link down below in the description, and you guys can go and check that out. With that being said, let's get into it. To showcase the feature that I'm talking about, if we go inside of our pet inventory, inside of Eating Simulator, we can see whenever we click on a pet, each of the pets have their own stats and whenever we equip the pet those stats will affect us so now whenever we click we get 15 times more food and whenever we sell the food we also get 15 times more money as well hopping directly into studio to start working on this the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do hide the pet inventory because it should be hidden by default anyway then what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of the server script service inside of the utils and inside of the stats module that we made a while ago and now if you guys don't remember this module is what we use whenever we're actually going to reward a player the food or money or other currencies like that the reason for that is because there are a lot of different things which can affect the player stats such as the item that they have equipped or if they've purchased the game pass and now also pets now in eating simulator the only stats that are actually affected by pets are the food multiplier and the coin multiplier so those are the two stats that we're going to be working with now additionally if we go inside of the replicated storage inside of the configs folder and open up the pets module inside of here is where all the stats are contained for each of our different pets so for instance if we equip a common dog pet we will have a 2.5 food multiplier and a 2.5 coin multiplier as well so now that we've got that, what we need to do is inside of the stats module script, we need to actually require that config. So what we're going to do is we're going to say local pets config equals require replicate storage dot config dot pets. And now we have the pets. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually create a function so that we can get all of the pets that the player currently has equipped. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new local function that's going to be called get equipped pets. And we're going to accept a player. Then what we need to do is we need to loop through the player's pet inventory. So for underscore child in ipairs player dot pet inventory which is a folder get children do now the way that we know if a pet is equipped is if inside of this folder there is a bool value and the value of that would be set to true if the pet is equipped but before we start working with that for loop what we actually need to do is we need to create an equipped list and that's just going to be set to a table so now all of the pets that we currently have equipped we will add to that list so if child dot equipped dot value then so now if the pet is equipped what we're then going to do is we're going to index the equipped list with the pet's uuid so we're going to say child dot name because that's going to be the uuid then we're going to create a brand new table inside of this table and it's going to have two different properties we're going to have the id which is going to be equal to the child dot id dot value so that'll tell us what type of pet it actually is and then we also want to get the rarity as well and that's going to be child dot rarity dot value so inside of the equipped list we have each of the pets uuids equal to a table and inside of that table we then have the type of the pet that it actually is and the rarity that it is as well then what we're going to do at the bottom of this function is we are simply going to return the equipped list now that we have all the pets that the player has equipped we now need to create a function for calculating all the stats that the player obtains from having those pets equipped so what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new local function and this is going to be called calculate pet stats and this is going to accept a player then what we're going to do inside of here is we're going to create a new variable called stat and we're going to set this to zero the reason we're setting this to zero is in case by default if the player has no pets equipped then it's just going to be set to zero the next thing we need to do is we need to create a variable for the pets that the player has equipped so equipped pets and that's going to be set to the get equipped pets function and we're going to of course pass through the player there then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the equipped pets table so the key is going to be the uuid and then the value is going to be the info table that we created so in pairs equipped pets do now what we need to do is we need to actually get the stat of the pet so we're going to say local pet stat equals and the way that we're going to find this is by using the pets config then what we can do is we can index the type of the pet that we currently have equipped and then we can index that with the rarity that we have equipped as well and this will return a number so all we have to do is we just have to index that by using the info table so we're going to say info.id because that's going to be the type of the pet and then info.rarity as that's going to be the rarity of the pet and now the pet stat is equal to whatever the stat actually is so then what we can do is we could add the pet stat to the stat variable that we created so we can say stat plus equals pet stat and then that loop will go through all the equipped pets and add each of the stats to this stat value right here and then what all we have to do is return that stat number and now we've calculated all the pet stats the next thing we have to do is we just have to actually implement this into our different stats such as our food multiplier and our coin multiplier as well so we can see inside of the food multiplier we have the total and then we have rank and this is basically a multiplier for this stat already so what we're going to do is right below this we're going to say local pets equals and then calculate pet stats pass through the player and then we're going to get a number from that then all we have to do is we just have to add that number 
number. So pets to the total. So then we have the rank multiplier and we're adding that to the total. And now we have the pets multiplier and we're adding that to the total as well. And then we also have the game pass multiplier as well. So this entire function is just calculating the multiplier of the food stat. Then all we have to do is add this to the coin multiplier as well, the exact same way that we did with rank. So we're just going to say local pets equals calculate pet stats, pass through the player, and then we just have to add that to the total. So we're going to say total plus equals pets, and there we go. Now we can go ahead and start this up and test this out. So if we go inside of our game and unequip all of our pets just to see how much food we should get by default, each time we click, we get plus one food. Now when we equip a dog pet that has a 2.5 multiplier, when we click, we get four food. And if we equip another pet that has a 2.5 multiplier, so that would be a five times multiplier, when we click, we now get six. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't we get five each click? But the reason that we're not getting five per click even though we have a five times multiplier is because of how we have the reward system set up so of course you can set up the rewards however you'd like to but this is teaching you how to have your pet stats set up so ladies and gentlemen hopefully this video did help you guys out if it did make sure you smash the like button also the subscribe button and turn post notifications on if you want to get notified well play more roblox development content additionally have a patreon if you guys like this for me and gain access to all the scripts and the game file they made during this episode there's a link down below in the description and you guys can go and check that out with that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode